Hi, I'm Ginger Lapid Bogda, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about Enneagram Type 2s because I am a 2, and I'm also an Enneagram author and business consultant, and um, I've written a couple, several books, one of which is The Art of Typing. So I think it's so important what you're doing in terms of really diving deep into each of the types to understand them. So I thought I would talk to you a little bit about things about Type 2s that people often don't quite understand or might be a way that twos get misperceived. So the first thing I'm going to say is that although it's true that twos do really get their sense of self-worth and self-esteem from how others respond to them in affirmative ways, what isn't true is that twos like everybody to like them. In fact, twos are selective in some ways about who. It might be people important in their lives. It might be important people that they don't know people who need something. It's many people, but it's not everybody. Because if so, a two doesn't like somebody, and that happens, and the other person who the two doesn't like likes them, puts the two in a dilemma. They don't really want to engage or be around that person, but they don't want to also be rude or disrespectful or unkind. So they prefer it if they don't like somebody, the two, they prefer it just that the other person also doesn't like them. The second way twos get misunderstood is that twos actually may seem a little bit soft or um, maybe a little not as sort of strong as certain other types, but what's really true about twos is on the outside, yes, there's a lot of flexibility and adaptability, but inside many twos, I'd say most twos, have actually a will of um, stainless steel is how I refer to it, that we can be flexible, but we will not bend to certain things around our values, around what really matters to us and that sort of thing. And the third thing I'd like to comment about, and this may be more obvious, but it isn't. I sometimes say that twos, um, their middle name is guilt. We will feel guilty about just about everything. We'll feel guilty if something didn't go well for you, if it didn't go well for us, if we didn't say something, if we did say something. If something didn't go the way we had hoped and planned, we will tend to take probably over responsibility for it and feel guilty like there's something we didn't do that we should have done. So I hope this gives you some new ways of thinking about twos. And I'd also like to say that I will be coming to Melbourne in the next few months. I'm going to be doing a program on coaching with the Enneagram 1.0. And I hope some of you who are interested in coaching might be able to attend. And I'm also doing a program called 3D Development. It's the first time ever I'm doing this. And it's a deep dive development into the Enneagram. It's only for people who really know their types, know the system, and are seriously working on their own development. So enjoy your session, and I hope to see some of you in Melbourne. Thank you.